you know, it's uh, 10.40 p.m., I think, and uh, I've just uh, had my evening herbs here, uh, brought a bunch of plants in, uh, in uh, preparation for expected frost, about to have my salad for dinner, you may hear the laundry that I'm doing, I've certainly obviously taken a shower and just in the robe, and uh, you can see that I'm uh, editing and uploading uh, some videos uh, right now. Bring Renee's video to YouTube. A few more that we've done. I'm uh, sitting here on the couch, which maybe you can see. And uh, behind me are some uh, seeds, some drying seeds, uh, some milkweed and money plant seeds and uh, papyrus and so forth and uh, I guess a mirror on both sides here so <coughs> I'm kind of settled in for the evening and for a variety of reasons um, kind of thinking about um, the aspects of self. There's the the self, um, the self that's born. It's the self we tend to think of. I think that's because we're thinking of it from the unborn self. So to think of the self is to think, or feel, or consider, contemplate from the unborn. And considering or addressing oneself to the born, uh, for example, the physical. But another way I've come to think of this is that there's the complete self addressing the incomplete, which of course is all, all the rest. Uh, I'm noticing that there's like a reflection in my glasses here. Uh, I think maybe I'll take them off for this. Um, thinking maybe it's distracting. Uh, yeah, I think you're likely to hear the laundry going now. So, uh, there you have that. So there's the complete addressing itself to the incomplete, and there's the whole addressing itself to the fractionated. And so I have this sort of intellectual understanding or theorization of that. <coughs> My. Um, one of many suppositions that we carry, at least for some time. So what I want to do is settle into a meditative position. You probably can't really tell, but I'm just sitting in my kind of cross-legged way on my lap. Uh, not on my lap, making a lap of the cross-leggedness. I was sitting earlier here, sort of swastikasana, a little bit more of a padmasana now. The unbalanced washer uh, clearly doesn't meditate, so it's drying <laughs> now, but it shakes things, so it probably sounds, maybe feels as if it sounds different now. Again, there you have it. <laughs> so, I'm going to sit in meditation. Having taken my herbs, I'm about to eat the salad in the middle of um, editing and uploading. Laundry going. Seeds behind. Plants indoors. About to enjoy the last 
few minutes of wakefulness and in my own domestic life here after a day filled with students and work. So I want to consider all the parts of myself, but see if I can't develop a meta-awareness whilst considering the fractionated self, the partial self, the born self. Let's see if I can't come to an awareness of who, what it is that is doing that considering, considering what, 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 who is doing the addressing, what, who is aware at all of the self that is indeed born fractured, fractionated fractal divisible What I'm doing is I'm scanning the aspects of the self. Could be literally body parts, body regions. I can come in to sense of those things by the, the actions that are born of those parts of the self, the parts of the body self, or involve them, or are catalyzed by them. So for example, I can check in with the breath to become aware of the lungs or the abdomen or the diaphragm or the rib cage, for example. I can become aware of the heartbeat to help me get a sense of the circulatory system or the pulse or the heart or the pericardium, for example. But it doesn't have to be the body self or its parts. It can be a facet of my psyche. It can be the memory stores. while I become aware or address my unborn self to the born self or some part thereof or area of thereof or activity therein or thereof or thereby I'm trying to be aware of the source of awareness, or at least the direction from which that awareness flows. So while a light bulb is on, you may not be able to see it because of the light coming out. You can be aware because of the light, the direction of the light bulb. You can become aware of that. And so if I can't quite see the unborn, the whole self, pondering the unwhole self. I may ascertain a direction.
I want to say that's heavy. Really, the feeling was light and sing. But heavy in the groovy man sense, but describing the sense light. So if heavy had its own intonation, we could say light with the intonation of heavy. Maybe light, heavy, weight. Weight, light, heavy. I don't know. I'm kind of giddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, I thought we were going to do that for a few more minutes, but uh, <laughs> uh, well, that seems to have worked or done something. <laughs> I hope you feel good. Thank you. Warming for Fulti Voix.